Hey there everyone, welcome back to Mashup Math. Anthony here and thank you for joining me on this practice problem. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back and thank you for joining me on this lesson where we are going to explore the relationship between fractions that have a denominator of both 10 and 100. So let's start by looking at the fraction 5 over 10. We know that the whole is 10, which we can represent with this circle, and the part, 5, is 1 half of it. So 5 over 10 is equal to 1 half because you would need two 5s to equal 10 because 5 plus 5 equals 10. But what if we took this fraction 5 over 10 and multiplied the numerator and denominator by 10? The numerator, 5 times 10, would become... 50, and the denominator 10 times 10 would become 100. Now let's go ahead and visualize this new fraction the same way as we did with the last one. In this case, the whole is 100, and the part of 50 is the same thing as one half of the whole. <laughs> this should look familiar to the first fraction, 5 over 10, where we can see now that 5 over 10 is equal to 1 half, and 50 over 100 was also equal to 1 half. So we can conclude that 50 over 100 is equal to 5 over 10. These are what's called equivalent fractions. And by exploring and understanding this relationship, we can strengthen our number sense and apply this understanding to help us with future problems. So now let's go ahead and extend our thinking to a problem where we have to find the value of the purple diamond symbol in the equation below. Notice that the denominators of these three fractions are not the same. The denominator of the first fraction is 10, and the denominator of the second two fractions are both 100. Before we can solve this equation, we need a common denominator. Namely, we want the denominator of all three fractions to be 100. So before we perform any operations on the left side of the equal sign, we need to change that first fraction into an equivalent fraction whose denominator is 100, and we can do that by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Doing this will change the fraction to an equivalent fraction. 3 over 10 becomes 30 over 100, and now we do have a common denominator. Which allows us to perform the addition of the two fractions on the left side, since they have a common denominator, we can just add the numerators together, 30 plus 7, which is equal to 37. So we can conclude that the value of the purple diamond in this example is 37. Oh, yeah! So keep these strategies in mind and really think about the relationship between fractions that have a denominator of 10 and a denominator of 100 as you continue to work on future problems. And thank you again for stopping by. I will see you all soon. Later. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also, don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, you get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support and I will see you all next time. Bye.